Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Mischief. Richie here, where I talk about my favorite thing, the entire world, cryptocurrency. That's right. It is DripX Miner Claim Day. Yesterday was DripX BNB Payout Claim Day. Been waiting eight days. I last made a video about DripX just before the launch. I was explaining what my strategy was. I did pretty much exactly what I said I was going to do. What I want to do now is explain what my next strategy is for tonight, for me, it's going to be in the evening for claim day of the miners. I've set up, uh, it's quite confusing, so I'm going to try to go through it step by step. Um, I've seen a lot of misinformation and a lot of uh, aggro <laughs> on uh, DripX, uh, to do with DripX, TitanX, and all that. I'm not going to address any of that. Uh, you know, I'm not interested in that. I, I like money. That's what I'm here to earn. So we're going to get straight into it. Let's have a look at first what, how I set up this wallet um, for, for DripX. By the way, if you are new to this channel or you appreciate all kinds of cryptocurrency content, high risk, low risk, airdrop farming, uh, GameFi, uh, altcoins, pretty much everything. We'll find crypto gems anywhere and make profit anywhere we can. What we do in this channel. So, if you do appreciate that kind of content, then hit the subscribe button. Um, aim is to get up into the 30,000 subscribers quite soon. We're around about 27 at the moment. So, getting there, almost at 27, I think, uh, last time I checked. So, let's get into it. Um, so, miners first saw DripX launched. It was a really, really hectic um, launch day. The drip chart did not do what I was expecting. <laughs> It did the opposite. It went absolutely dumpsville and has since remained um, very, very down. Went down to a bottom of one penny. Um, so that's a 99% down. What did I say? Coins can go 99% down 99% of the time uh, in crypto. Um, I wasn't too phased about it. I was actually buying uh, like a maniac uh, around about these prices for Raptrip because Raptrip was the only way to buy... Uh, DripX and then DripX put in for staking, right? And that was what I was interested in. I did make some miners on this wallet so we can come and check them. Now, the numbers you're going to see, I don't expect to get any of this at the moment. Uh, at the current price of DripX, when all of my miners are done, I have spent $3,500 on this wallet on miners uh, in the form of wrap drip, no, in the form of BNB, right? At the time. And now that would be $4.5 million. Uh, I would be able to pull out. Great. <laughs> That's it. Okay. See you later. Bye. No, come on. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Um, if we can get 95% of this out of there, that'd be all right. Um, but I don't think we're going to get 95% out of that either. Like We can do some numbers if you want. What is 95% of 4 million, you know? <laughs> it's, we are um, not going to get that because there's not enough liquidity to pay me $4.5 million from that, right? Even for me. And I only have three and a half grand in this. How much does everyone else have? Uh, so it's, that's not going to happen, right? So if that was uh, even that, then yeah, I'm still getting like $200,000, um, which is not happening, right? So maybe we're going to get 1% or 0.5% of what is on the dashboard divs. Don't pay attention to them. This is one of the reasons why I've, I've not uh, made uh, content on DripX this week because I've been waiting for the first payout day because I don't want anyone to completely lose it on this. But at the same time, you need to make up your own, your big boys. You need to make up your mind on what's happening. So I made a lot of day eights because I didn't do that in Titan X and I felt like this was my best strategy, right? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, five, six seven eight uh, miners to claim out today <laughs> on this wallet i've got another wallet too and the market value of them are roughly what's that a hundred thousand dollar per um per eight day miner at this current time okay 93 percent done so this will be redeemed in 11 hours which for me will be the crack in the morning gonna have to wake up at like two in the morning or something like that uh, even later uh, one in the morning uh Maybe I'll just stay up and um, and claim these, right? Okay, 
What else did I do? That's not all I did, okay? I did make some long-term ones as well. I made some mid-term ones. I'm going to make some more tomorrow once I see the lay of the land after inflation starts. Because at the moment, what's been going on with DripX is people have been buying miners with BNB. The BNB is going into the system. Then we're going to be promised these ridiculous gains. But we are being promised tokens, and that's what we're going to get, right? So come to manage miners. I will get these tokens, right? The estimated DripX is going to come to me, right? But everyone's going to get DripX. The chart is going to go weird because the amount of circulating supply of DRIPX is going to go up exponentially from now on. And it's not going to stop anytime soon. It's going to be about a year before it starts to even become deflationary if I'm reading um, the tokenomics right, okay? So expect massive inflation. What comes with massive inflation? The chart will start to slowly dip or it might massively dip. Let's see what happens because liquidity right now, everyone's talking about liquidity, yeah, is uh, Drip X and Rap Drip in liquidity. They have $344,000, which is not enough to pay out all the, the people who are going to claim today. So let's see what's happening there. There are a lot of people buying into Drip X today. There'll be three reasons why Drip X is up 50% on the day. Reason number one could be, this is conspiracy time, right? Do, 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 do. <laughs> number one, people are just wanting to buy DRIPX because they want to stake it into the DAP and earn the juicy BNB rewards. That's number one. They got their payout yesterday. They spent on DRIPX and now they're going to um, stake it into the staking and get the next payout. Okay. Very normal thing to do. Yeah, because we all got paid out payout. We have a payout wing for us right there. Okay. So they could have just spent that on DRIPX, bought DRIPX, staked it back into earn more BNB. Perfectly normal thing to do. Number two, it could be pumping 50% because there's a lot of aggro between DRIPX and the platform they forked called TitanX. There was even a diss track made by the dev of DRIPX against the dev of TitanX. I know I don't care either. <laughs> but anyway, it, it did happen. So it could be that people from TitanX are buying DripX right now to cause FOMO. More people buying and more people buying. And as soon as in like 12 hours when all this uh, miners unlock, um, <laughs> they just dump it to holy hell. Cause panic and there's just a falling knife of uh, blood on the streets everywhere. That's actually what I'm hoping for. That's, that's what I'm expecting. Um, or number three... Um, it could just be people wanting to pair liquidity. So it's number three on Dex tools right now for volume. Uh, the volume is high, $51,000 today of trading volume between these two tokens. So there are fees to be earned in V3. So they need to buy Rat Drip to then pair it with DripX. So this is the DripX chart. So they're buying DripX with Rat Drip to pair up to then farm fees as well. So these three options are all in play today. This is a really exciting day for um, DGen DeFi. Stay DGen. <laughs> and let's see how it plays out. So I have my miners. They're ready to be unlocked. I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to do with my miners once we survey this, the landscape. You need to know the story first of what's happening before we speak about what my strategy is on how I'm going to make, hopefully, loads of money from this because I've already seen this same story happen five times before right so it's not my first rodeo right anyway payout so i have um stakes that i made day one i haven't done anything since day one i'll tell you that right i've just been watching weighing like a predator right coming to manage staking i set up a bunch of sticks um three sticks four sticks all max stick i don't want this drip x back i bought loads of drip x um how much did i buy i bought uh, three thousand three three thousand five hundred dollars worth of drip x at the time of staking in it's been going up and down since then i'm guessing uh the, i don't think the market value moves of the time when i staked it i don't think um and i just staked it max i don't want the drip x back i gave it away into the system basically why uh, i get the best d uh, rank for this right basically the share rate sorry i get the best share rate for going in max length super early so that's what I did. I staked it all in and that's it. So threw it all in. So that's, um, what was the number there? $3,500 worth staked into the payout. And in one day, I am going to take $800 out. Boom. Okay. So that's a nice return on uh, eight days ago when I put it all in. So $3,500 in. Now I get to pull out $800 because one, BNB is gone up in price. And two, I locked it away for 
permanent lock, right? So that's it. So now I can come here and I can now claim the tokens that are due to me. We now have another eight day cycle coming up in eight days, which I'm going to get less for if I don't do anything. Um, to give you an ex a kind of the logic for that is when I staked all this in, I had 0.35% of the active shares. Now I have 0.17, eight days later. So it's not actually that bad. It means that there's not much um, people staking in here yet because the BNB still up for grabs. There's a butt ton of BNB in here. Now the aim for personal aim would be probably trying to get to run about 0.5 to 1% of the global shares in this, which would be a sweet, sweet payday every single eight days. Yeah, getting 500 to 800 to 1,000 dollars every eight days for using this is the aim that I have for DripX. Um, and that's kind of probably hinting at what I'm going to be doing with all of the DripX that I'm taking out of the system, right? So that's me got two BNB in there. Um, I could be like these guys in the chart, buying up more DripX, probably staking it in for the next payout. But I'm not going to be doing that because this seems, um, in my opinion, from experience, this token is about to go um, inflationary, right? In 12 hours, it's going to print and it's not going to stop printing um, for a long time. This will most probably have a negative effect on the, the price of the token as there's going to be more in circulation. So why would I buy in now when tomorrow I might be able to buy in cheaper because of the shock and awe factor that's going to happen once all this kicks off? The recommended strategy for DripX is to claim your BNB out, right? Well, it's to go, and then use the BNB to create miners to create DripX. Then you earn the DripX and you stake the DripX into the system to then earn more BNB, right? That's the recommended strategy. So this is probably the easiest way to get it, uh, how, how this all works, okay? You will uh, buy a miner with BNB purchase a new miner with BNB. That miner will then give you DripX. You can then stake the DripX um, into, by, by staking that showed you, right? To then take BNB, take a percentage of the profit of, of that BNB as profit, take it off the table and ro rotate the rest of that BNB back into DripX to purchase new miners, right? When BNB is put into the system to purchase new miners, a couple things happen. The BNB is put into the protocol and then that's used to buy DripX. So it could also be people buying miners, which is putting the price up. That's, that, that is also a possibility. That's possibility number four, I guess. Um, and then that also uh, buys rat drip before it does. So it buys rat drip and then that rat drip is swapped into DripX. But the volume of drip of this is 129,000 actually. So it's had 447 uh, transactions just today on uh, rat drip even though the chart is really low the volume is very high that's where people are actually making money from they're not making money from holding the token they're not making money on the token going up in value they're making money on people trading the token that's where you need to change your your brain of how this is all working okay so the question is richie what you gonna do right what am i gonna do I've set it all up. Um, I've taken my two BNB out. That is going to be used to buy miners probably tomorrow after I survey the damage of the landscape of what happens tonight. I really don't mind buying today or tomorrow because I'm going to be probably buying a little bit long with the next batch. Okay. Um, I'm also going to be getting my miners out tonight, which is going to be more fun. So we're getting all these miners out. I'm going to claim them all. And then Everyone's going to rush over to this liquidity of four three hundred forty three thousand dollars, and they're going to try sell that dripx into the rat drip. Right? They're quickly going to realize that the price of rat drip. <laughs> they're quickly going to realize that the price of drip x is going to go down a lot. Okay, it's going to fall very sharply if everyone starts to sell this. This is when the opportunity arises to get more drip. X. That's what I'll be doing, okay? So then I'll be swapping my BNB into wrap drip, okay? And then as this is falling and collapsing, as everyone is trying to sell wrap drip, I, I drip X into wrap drip, I'm going to be buying more, right? Because my plan is to fill up my staking with even more drip X. There's two variables in this, okay? There's the price of drip X, which is extremely volatile, going up and down like haywire. 
And then there's the very stable variable of how much BNB is in the payouts to pay us for a very long time, depending on how much DRIPX we've got staked in here. The more DRIPX you stake and the longer you stake it for, the more BNB you're going to be paid out. So why would I be gambling on extremely volatile asset and try and predict what's going to happen? I already got it wrong in the last video. Last video I said that um, Rat Troop was going to moon, right? It dumped 99% down. <laughs> like, of course, I'm not, probably it's going to do the exact opposite of what I want now. So my idea is this is completely fixed. I can get BNB from this all the time. So I'm going to be going heavy into staking to try and get this BNB out. Um, I will be making miners because it's BNB chain. Gas is cheap. It's not much of a problem, right? But mostly I'm going to go into staking, right? Which means I'm not going to really be thinking about selling hardly any of the dripx i might sell like a little bit because why not like join the party right <laughs> just to see what happens but really that's the plan so i predict that dripx is going to fall about 50 percent maybe down uh, down to pre-pump uh possibly zero three zeros and five might be the reasonable expectation about what's going to happen right now with liquidity being cut right um, wrap drip in response because we're going drip X into wrap drip, wrap drip into B and B because who wants to hold wrap drip, right? Can't do anything with it. You can parent liquidity, but a lot of people don't have that kind of foresight. So they're probably going to sell the wrap drip into uh, drip, right? So that's going to probably reduce the price of wrap drip or they'll sell it into B and B. Wrap drip B and B has uh, $110,000 of liquidity, which is less than rat drip drip x so this is going to run out faster than the other one yeah so that will also be done then they're going to have to think okay well it's okay i can still take my uh, rat drip turn it into drip and i'm going to sell it into busd so they're going to start doing that and selling it into that as well which will probably dip the price of um drip as well there's three hundred thousand dollars of liquidity here and that will also take a chunk down as well so i i'm predicting uh devaluation of uh dollar value of currency all across the board right now, does that worry me? You know, then you think, oh, Richie, but why aren't you just going to be like selling everything as fast as possible? Minute one, right? Get in there and just fucking sell like a champion. Why? Right? I can't stop this. I'd rather earn the fees on the volume that's going to be happening. Before all this, daily 32,000 volume with drip, 128,000 volume with rat drip and BNB, and $51,000 worth of volume with drip X and BNB, uh, drip X and rat drip, right? So that's um, fees to be captured. Um, inside of Pancake Spot 3. So this is what I'm going to do. Taking the Drip X, and I'm going to start making some positions. So of course, we'll be selling some of the Drip X into Rat Drip to make some positions. We also have the BNB we just claimed, the 2 BNB, which will also be used in order to make positions here. I have two positions I'm setting up with BNB and Rat Drip. One position is, uh, let me get this right, I wrote it all down to make it clear right so there's two shorts on the price of rat drip compared to bnb this one here i've pulled in it is you can write it down if you want so it's bnb and rat drip prices are in bnb i'm predicting that the price of bnb will fall uh, the price of rat drip will fall 41 percent uh compared to the price of bnb this is the first one i've gone for so quite extreme i put it 20% uh, on the likelihood, very rare chance, but uh, Rat Drip could pump, okay? So I don't have 20% leeway here that it won't happen. Uh, this one's running at 500% APR today, okay? So if I can get this in for one day, we're good. We've already covered the fee. The fee is at 1%, okay? So I need to cover the 1% fee um, for 24 hours in order to hold this for 24 hours, and then we're in profit from there. So that's the gamble, right? Second one, we're going even more ridiculous. We're we're guessing that Rat Drip is not going to pump at all, right? It's going to be all the way down, all the way down, fifty percent down from the price we're at right now. <laughs> this is a big gamble. Um, so we're three per, three point three percent leeway for a pump on Drip, and a fifty percent on the, the shorting Drip, basically, essentially with um with our um with our uh <laughs> with our range there it's going to give us a 667 percent almost two percent daily on this again a one percent fee tier so if i hold this in position for 12 hours we've already paid off our um our our fee for making the liquidity if you notice i haven't gone in with any of these yet i'm just setting them up right now and i thought I'd make the video before before i set them all up uh next we are in the 
drip uh drip x and rat drip um field because i've made some for these as well interestingly it doesn't give me an apr here i don't know why uh because there should be fees to be earned here because they're both don't have a like there's no token tax on either so in theory i haven't tried this yet but i'm pretty sure that you can make fees on rat drip and drip x but we'll find out pretty soon i guess um so this one uh i am um shorting rat drip for drip x so i'm saying that let me just double check that so we're 13 we're five drip x per rat drip as uh, 60 percent down and this will be six drip x but yeah so we are we're guessing that um drip x is going to outperform rat drip here okay this is the idea we are shorting rat drip for drip x and we've left ourselves a nice 20 percent pump in case rat drip outperforms um drip x instead okay this one should give a pretty good uh apr but i'm not sure what it is then finally second position we've gone straight clean sweep don't know what's going to happen but hopefully nothing dumps more than 50% against the other one because that would be an absolute disaster, right? If something goes down more than 50% against the other of rat drip and drip X. So I've gone a 50-50 clean sweep on this one <laughs> because this is the I don't know what's going to happen uh, pile. So on all of these, we're going to be earning, uh, hopefully, and the drip, rat drip and drip X, hopefully we're, we're earning liquidity. Uh, I'm not sure if we will. We'll find out. And we're also going to be earning BNB and rat drip in these, okay? Now, the whole plan is that we're going to acquire a lot of drip X and a lot of um, rat drip and a lot of BNB and fees. And we're going to split this liquidities up. We're going to put the drip X straight in for the staking, max stake, right? We're going to take the rat drip. We're going to buy in drip X with that from the fees. We're going to go max stake with that. We're going to take the BNB rewards from these pools that are set up and they're going to go in to buy miners. Okay. And at the same time, profit taking is essential. And on PancakeSwap, the best place right now for, for range, if you want a little bit of alpha, for sticking to the end of this video, okay? Um, the best place right now to yield farm safely would be take BNB and BUSD, put them in pretty tight range here. I have uh, $391 to $417 for, per BNB, which is pretty much the range it's been in for the past four days. And you're getting 1% a day here. And the fee tier is 0 0.05. So you need uh, about 10 minutes to cover this fee. Um, and this this is printing very well. So these are the positions I'm setting up um, for the launch day of DripX. <laughs> just if you want a summary, um, my strategy, this is not financial advice, I'm just telling you what I'm doing, I'm kind of documenting uh, what I'm going to be trying to achieve tonight. It will be um, keep my BNB for now, right? Claim my miners, then buy the dip uh, and pair my BNB that I've just pulled out, uh, the one I claim my payout to earn fees, then send the rest of the miners that the mind the mind repex that I've earned straight back into max staking, and then survey the landscape, and then tomorrow if we're all good, start buying up uh, more miners. So that's it. <laughs> What's your strategy? Um, I know mine's a bit harebrained, but got to be try to predict this man is. It's, it's quantum physics, you know. But I'm playing chess. You're playing checkers, bitches. <laughs> Peace. Don't get wrecked.